Coming up on PE This Week, the body of 22-year-old Brittany Kilgore is found near Temecula. Plus, this pawn shop worker and his Rottweiler fight off an armed robber. I knew that the gun was the vital part, and I wasn't going to let it go no matter, no matter what had happened. And a talk with high school baseball player has found success on the diamond despite dealing with Tourette's syndrome. PE This Week starts now. Welcome to PE This Week, a look at news from across the inland area. I'm Pep Fernandez. A woman's body discovered near Temecula is that of Brittany Kilgore. A maintenance worker first discovered the remains off Burrell Road near Lake Skinner. Kilgore is the wife of a Marine currently deployed in Afghanistan. She was last seen this past Friday in Fallbrook in the company of another Marine, Luis Ray Perez. He is currently behind bars for receiving stolen property in the possession of an assault weapon, but he has not been charged in connection with Kilgore's death. A second person under investigation is Jessica Lynn Lopez, who was arrested on suspicion of murder. Homicide Lieutenant Larry Nesbitt talks about the discovery of Kilgore's body near Temecula. Ultimately, it was a, a road worker who was uh, conducting maintenance on the uh, mowing the shoulders of the roads that made the discovery. A pawn shop worker and a Rottweiler named Capone thwarted an attempted armed robbery. Surveillance video shows 34-year-old Hakeem Salone entering Empire Jewelry and Loan in Moreno Valley last Friday while pointing a gun at store worker Richard Salgado. For more than six minutes, Salgado and the store's guard dog, Capone, tried to wrestle a loaded gun away from Salone. Salgado and Capone would eventually disarm the would-be robber and escape from the shop. Police were on the scene and arrested Salone just outside the store. There was just a, a slight opportunity that I noticed that would be the right time to take the gun, and that's, that's when I went for it. We have this dog since he was baby, and he protects the stores very, very good. So I'm pretty lucky about the dog, and also I'm lucky that my employees are fine. That's the most important thing, that my two employees are fine. People living in a homeless camp at Fairmont Park were forced to move after local residents complained about trespassing in public access areas. Police gave the people living at the camp a two-week eviction notice before tractors eventually rolled in to clean up the area. We've been here for almost two years. And what are they doing today? They came in, they said they came in two weeks ago and left to notice. And supposedly on a Friday. And I didn't see the notice. We didn't get a notice. They came in this morning at 9 a.m. Ralph Nunez did with a police officer and told us we got we got tracked here. You guys are gone. The Riverside Community College District will be laying off a number of its workers as part of budget cuts. The Board of Trustees for the district voted unanimously to lay off the equivalent of almost 26 full-time jobs between their RCC, Moreno Valley, and Norco campuses. The Riverside Community College District is bracing for a budget shortfall of $14.3 million. Each of them and I agree that it's the ugliest thing we've ever been asked to do in our professional careers. Local motorists will see a big change on the 215 freeway in the San Bernardino area. The big shift is coming on April 30th as construction crews will join the 215 freeway to the 210. Stay up to date on the latest changes on the 215 by visiting www.215news.com. A winter storm blasted the inland area this past Friday, which included a lightning strike that caused a gas leak in Harupa Valley. Glass windows were blown out nearby buildings. A portion of Wineville Avenue was closed while crews addressed the gas leak. Biologists working at a solar plant near the Nevada state line are moving more than 150 desert tortoises from the project area to a nearby site. The solar project made it unsafe for the tortoises to live on the current land, but biologists are taking every precaution to see the tortoises flourish at their new area. And finally, a story of inspiration from the baseball diamond. Talkwitz baseball player Tim Borst is a steady shortstop anchoring the Titans infield. A solid hitter at the plate, batting over 400 this season. The mound has landed him a spot on the Fresno State baseball team next season. Borst has accomplished so much on the diamond while living with Tourette's syndrome. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it still happens from time to time. Uh, a lot of people don't understand it too much. Um, 
but for me, you know, just, you know, it's a matter of just growing up and, um, you know, realizing how to deal with it. For more on Bors, check out the story at HS Game Time. I'm Pep Fernandez. Thanks for watching PE this week. We'll be back next Thursday. See you then.